Here's my 2018 Pacifica, Chrysler Pacifica Sports Series. I'm going to be putting in the Max Fighter full set of floor mats. I have some concerns, but I figured I'd give them a try. Here's the inside of the van. These are the factory ones that come with it. They're Durbo mats, good quality, but they're typical factory mats. As you see, one of the reasons I'm wanting to put these in is because I have kids, and that's a major concern. When they spill stuff here in the middle, things like that, I want to try and protect the carpet. We'll go through these concerns as I'm installing the mats. This is from the other side. Again, factory mats. We haven't installed any of these things yet. Now I reached out about my concerns to the U-Ace. Actually, I started out with the Max Piter. Uh, it took forever to try and search down the company. And uh, I found a company that I thought was in California. I ended up finding it with the phone number. I ended up calling them up, finding out they were just a distributor. They weren't any help at all. Uh, the only thing she told me about my concerns, they refused to answer it. The only thing she could tell me about my concerns is that if I didn't like them, then I could return them within so many days, but then I would be responsible for shipping. Well, if you can't answer my questions in the beginning, I'm not going to be paying $40 just because I don't like a mat. Now I did decide to give them a try just because I do like the look better than the WeatherTech, but the WeatherTech seemed to protect the floor a lot better in the back from what I was looking at. Answered my questions right on just looking at a photo of them will answer my questions. And I'll show the photo. Here's a picture of the photo right here. This is what I'm talking about. They have lips all around the edges, including to where it goes into the goes around the seats. Okay, now let's get into installing these mats. Now the factory mats come up real easy. It's just a uh, you pop it out of there, pop it out of the side, and you pull them out, and that's all there is to it. The back mats, same way. All we're going to do is be popping them out and just pulling them out. I'm going to vacuum it, pull the mats out of my vacuum it, and I'll get back with you. Okay, I have the mats out. One thing I wanted to bring up is there is no mat, factory mat, in the very back. So the good thing is we're going to be putting in a uh, mat where there was no mat. And in the middle here, now this is the non-hybrid, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay, we have the passenger side in, just kind of fits in. I'm going to show you how to do the driver's side right now. The passenger side is pretty much the same. A little note, when I was taking old mats out, the backing on the mats, the stock van mats have a rough backing, but nothing like the backing that's on the Max Piter. Got everything cleaned up, ready to put in the mats. Okay, here we go with the driver's side mat. The mats are actually flexible enough. You just fold them up, put them in. The one side was up under there. What we gotta do is just kind of work it up under there. The one thing I like here is on the stock mats and also on the WeatherTech. It didn't cover that area there where the Max Piter do. Now what we have here is we have the little things here. have these here and you just line them up, pop it in, keeps it in spot. Do the other one. It's all in. Seat everything. Seat the mat in there. And uh, that's your driver's side mat. Now let's go to the back. 
Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to stow and go the seats to make it easier and then pull them up once they're installed. As I was saying, I was having a couple concerns with the seam being right between the seats. This side here is where the front of the seats go, where the kids ride. And right there in the center is a big seam. And the way the van is, everything that could spill, either here or in the back, we almost gravitate toward the seam and just stick right down into the carpet. And there's only little pieces of Velcro that hold that together. So what I might do is I might modify this once I get them in there. And when I say modify, I'm thinking maybe I'll just run a piece of Velcro along the whole seam on the bottom so that it does seal it off somehow. Unfortunately, that would make it a lot harder for me to stow and go. Okay, but this is the uh, third and fourth row seat mats. Let's get them in. Okay, got everything in the stow and go. Let's just throw the mats in and then we'll see how easy it is to bring the seats out of stow and go once the mats are in. Okay, this is what I was worried about. I have the mats in. I am a stickler about having things lined up so they are lined up as best as they can be. They went in fairly easy. The problems are is that everything's put in properly but the seams I don't know if you notice it because of the little pieces of velcro for one it just doesn't seal at all so you have a seam now obviously as this maybe warms up it might settle down a little bit because it's brand new but I think still you're gonna have a seam that doesn't seal perfectly and the seam is right in the area where the back seat a spill would gravitate forward right into the seam now the front I might not have that much of a problem but definitely right in the middle where if they spill anything right in between the seats there's going to be a huge seam there that I might have to somehow figure out how to take care of maybe if I get some uh, and do it a classy way get some duct tape or something black stuff and just put it on top of the seam at least in the middle that way it'll seal it off but when you're paying two hundred fifty dollars for mats I don't think you should have to do that this was a concern that I was trying to get them to answer nobody was willing to answer it and in fact the company is very hard to get a hold of it, even find contact information I sent off emails for like two weeks before I finally had a number where I kind of pushed it. I was able to talk to somebody. They did say they were receiving the emails, but didn't know how to answer it because it was a concern, I guess. I do like the way the mats look, but I'm wondering if I should have went for the third and row, third and fourth row, if I should have went with the WeatherTech just because of the style that it does it would do better coverage and seal it off better the fronts my whole thing I was going to end up getting probably the front mats and the weather tech for the back I thought I'd give these so we'll see how this works out see if it's uh, easily fabricated into something that can make do better put some duct tape or maybe put some better velcro along the whole seam in the bottom or something like that um, Again, I don't think I should have to do that, but if that's what it takes to make it so it doesn't leak onto the carpet, then better off. We do live in Michigan where there's a winter. We do live in an area with snow, so during the winter there's a lot of snow on your boots that gets melted. So not only are we looking at leaks, but we're looking at melted snow onto the floor. And we'll see what happens. Okay, let, let's see how easy it is to stow and go this thing. There we go. Didn't seem like that was that hard at all. The stow and go works really nice. Okay. And there we go with the Max Piter 3D floor mats fully installed. This is what it looks like in the back.
Again, the seam is a major concern for me because it doesn't seal good and it seems like it's gonna gravitate to all the liquids. I might have to adjust that somehow and fix that so it catches the liquids. <clears throat> this is the driver's side, the front. Seems like online there's plenty of photos for that. Goes all the way up there. It does catch, catch everything. They do have a nice look. Again, seems to go up there a lot, up high to catch everything. It's the passenger side. does have a lip underneath the seat. But that center part, big concern. I don't understand why they did that. It has a lip everywhere except for right along the seam. And there you go. That's your Max Fighter floor mat review for a 2018 Pacifica. Till next time.